Traffic court. Okay, so while not as glamorous as major felony or doing a DUI trial, a big part of our business is helping people with their driver's license and we're in and out of traffic court all the time. And so Zach just had an amazing victory in traffic court. Zach, give me some details. What happened? All right, so this one was kind of crazy. Our client was called to the scene by his friend. And he looks like his friend. They're similar looking guys. So the witnesses who were there point the police to our guy and say he was the driver. But it wasn't him. Our, our guy had his own car there. He was wearing different stuff. And he told us from day one, I did not do this. Literally came to this office, giant misunderstanding. I didn't do this. Just like Zach said, there was two vehicles. When our guy was arrested, he had the keys to a vehicle that was not involved in a crash in his pocket. The police still arrested him for this car that was allegedly in an accident. Zach, tell us a little more about negotiations. So deputy prosecutor, to his credit, he's going back and forth with us this whole time. And he was looking into it on his end as well. Today, was we were set for bench trial. And so all the witnesses were there. And deputy prosecutor and I, we sat down with the witnesses and just kind of looked at the pictures of our client and then the other person who was actually there. I mean, they looked alike. And the witnesses agreed they looked alike. Except one witness said that was the driver and it wasn't our client. And it got dismissed today. You know, number one, traffic court can be a little bit crazy. And so it's not surprising to me that things weren't done until the last minute. And that was not through lack of action on our part. But when you're a traffic court press, you have hundreds of cases. It's very fast moving. People call us all the time. I'm innocent of these charges. And we take that very seriously. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, when you can provide independent evidence that I was not the one who alleged to commit this crime, I am actually innocent. We love those type cases. Absolutely. And we love advocating for our clients. And these are the type cases when somebody claims actual innocence. We need the client's help so much. Yeah, you have the best evidence. You can show us why you're innocent. And that's what he did. He gave us his call records, pictures of the other person involved, because he didn't know him. The person that actually was involved in the crash that resulted in criminal charges, he, he wouldn't come to court today. I don't blame him. If he came to court, he's going to admit he did a crime. And so this is the type of case where we're never going to have someone come to court and be like, I did it. You arrested the wrong man. No one's going to do that because people aren't like that. But we had to show through other ways, pictures, alibi evidence. Hey, he was coaching a soccer team. We had other witnesses that helped show our client was not the person involved in this criminal act. And, you know, thank God for zealous advocacy. Again, Zach is on the phone meeting with our client, trying to drum up witnesses. And fantastic outcome. Yeah. Do you agree? I'm, I'm very happy for him. How happy yeah. was the client? He was, he was thrilled to get out of there. He's, it's been going on for a while. And he set the trial date out so long, he's just been... It's been hanging over his head, so it's a huge relief for him today to get it all over with. And he's back driving, and life is back to normal. And I want to clarify, this wasn't a diversion. This was a dismissal. The prosecutor in this case did the right thing. The evidence was clear as day. Our client wasn't the one involved in this criminal act. So we give credit to the prosecutors where credit's due, but also thank you for having amazing clients in this law firm going out of their way to help us help them. And, oh, it's just an amazing feeling. Absolutely. Always plead the fifth.